Grab your popcorn, because it's time for some rom-coms. Of course, we are bringing back Rom-Com-a-thon for February. It is the month of love. It is the month of rom-coms. And uh, we are theming it all around movies and rom-coms. Hence the popcorn. Okay, I needed a prop for this month. This readathon was created by Michelle from Michelle's Library and Aoife from Pretty Purple Polka Dots. And they have kindly asked me to continue on as a co-host and I'm very excited about this. This is one of my favorite things and Aoife and Michelle have become such good friends and I'm very excited to be participating in this again and uh this is gonna be a wonderful wonderful round. This readathon is going to be taking place February 13th through the 19th so we will be doing it over Valentine's Day uh and you know that's just the week to read all of the romances. We are once again doing the time zone differential thing so what we'll actually get to do is start at midnight Berlin time whatever that is called uh and we'll get to end at 11 59 p.m mountain standard time because we have a whole range of hosts uh and so for me personally in mountain time I will get to start at 4 p.m on Sunday after. We have seven reading prompts and then we also have seven self-care slash like social media type posts and they all revolve around rom-com movies, fun things like that. First before we talk about the prompts let's talk about the group book and that is going to be Do I Know You by Emily Wibberly and Austin Sigmund Broca. This is a second chance romance about a married couple who go to a bar one night. They're on their five-year anniversary trip honeymoon kind of thing and uh you know they just they don't have the romance anymore they they seem to be more roommates than actual partners and they go to a bar and then the bartender introduces the two of them not realizing that they came in together not noticing that they are a married couple which is just sad and instead of correcting the bartender they just go with it they just um for the period of their little trip they just pretend like they are um you know they've just met they are new lovers and you know what the spice is back so that's gonna be fun this is an author duo that is married and they wrote the roughest draft which is a book that i really enjoyed uh and so i'm excited to pick this one up so that's the group book it will cover a couple of prompts on here um not all seven of them but it will cover a couple of them you absolutely do not have to do all seven of them we're giving you options we're also giving you the ability to do seven books in seven days if you really want to do that no one could ever be crazy like that no i could never be that person i will be that person <laughs> So let's talk about the prompts and the movies that they go along with. The first one we have is Sweet Home Alabama and the prompt for that is to read a second chance romance which the group book would fit for that. The second movie is Friends with Benefits uh, and the prompt for that is a book with a friends to lovers trope. The next movie is Dirty Dancing. The prompt for that is to read an age gap romance. The next movie is Four Weddings and a Funeral. And the prompt for that is a book that features a wedding. The next movie is Love Actually. And the prompt for that is to read a book with a dual POV. The group book will also work for this one. The next movie is my personal favorite and the one that I had to have on this list, 10 Things I Hate About You. And the prompt is to read a hate to love or enemies to lovers romance. The last movie for the reading challenges is Crazy Rich Asians and the prompt for that is to read a book with a POC main character. Now let's talk about the self-care, Instagram, social media type challenges. Those also have movies involved with them. The first movie is To All the Boys I've Loved Before and the prompt for that is to treat yourself to some baked goods. So maybe you make something yourself, uh, maybe you go to the bakery at the grocery store. It'll be Valentine's week so the grocery store always has like some really cool like Valentine's treats, brownies, cookies, whatever. Maybe you just go and get a pastry at Starbucks. Then the next one is 27 dresses and the prompt for that is to do a post where your outfit matches the cover of the book. It can be the book that you're reading, it could be another book, it doesn't really matter. The next movie is Clueless and the prompt for that is to watch a retelling. The next movie is Hitch and the prompt for that is to take yourself on a date. Take yourself to coffee, take yourself to dinner, Take yourself book shopping, whatever, whatever works. The next movie is She's All That. And the prompt for that is to have some pamper time. Maybe do a face mask, take a bubble bath, maybe go get your nails done. Whatever is a pampering for you, that works. The next movie is 13 Going on 30. And in honor of the epic thriller 
dance scene that is in this movie, the prompt is have a personal dance party by yourself, with your kids, whatever, whatever. <laughs> And the last movie is Isn't It Romantic? And the prompt for that is to watch a rom-com. It can be one of these rom-coms that we used as movie inspiration prompts, uh, or it can be whatever you want, doesn't matter. All right, so I think that's all of the information that you need for this readathon. February 13th to the 19th, midnight Berlin time to midnight Mountain Standard time. You get like a, an extra half day maybe if you're in certain parts of the world. I will have Aoife and Michelle linked down below. They are also um, announcing this video at the same time. So if I missed anything, maybe they didn't. The last thing I wanna add is that we are adding a Discord for this round so that you guys can talk about your TBRs, maybe post some of the things for the self-care or whatever, um, or maybe just get some ideas. Who knows? Um, but the link to join that Discord will be down below. And also we have an Instagram, so I'll have that link down below as well. There's always recommendations, things like that, that match the prompts. I'm hoping to be able to do a recommendations video at some point prior to the start of rom com -athon. So if you want to build your TBR around that, you can. Um, that will hopefully be going up right at the beginning of the month. Let me know down in the comments below if you're gonna be participating. And also let me know what your favorite rom-com movie is. If you're not feeling chatty, you can just put any type of heart emoji, whatever your favorite color is. That is all I have for you today. If you're new here and you have not yet subscribed, there's a little red button that you can do so down below the video. If you'd like to hang out with me more, the links to my Instagram, Twitter, Goodreads, and my Patreon are linked in the description below. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.